Roma, how's it going today? Billy, it's so good to see you. It's been ages since I've seen you. I know it has been. It's been such a crazy season for all of us. And, you know, I think about no. seasons. Obviously, we're in this amazing Easter season right now. And you have a new book that I just first of all, I love the title of it. The title is Unexpected Blessings. But then the subtitle, 90 Inspirations to Nourish Your Soul and Open Your Heart. So I guess let's start. Why this book right now? Well, um, you know, it really was born out of my COVID experience of being locked down, as we all were. This has been just the craziest time in our lives. Uh, and I know that for a lot of people, it's been a dangerous time. They, the COVID was, you know, brought real sickness for a lot of people. But in our family, we were fortunate enough, the few of us, that got it. I didn't get it yet, thank God. But the few that got it weren't too sick. And um, but because we had to take time to reflect, and we had to take time to slow down, because you know our office is closed, and you know we were encouraged to stay indoors. That I really felt that within that, Billy, there was just a there were just so many unexpected blessings. So even though on the one hand it was the worst of times that brought about so much anxiety and confusion and, you know, we didn't have all the information, we didn't know what was happening. I, you know, really just allowed myself to slow down, I really anchored myself in my, um, my desire to take time to pray every morning, to really set a discipline. Um, you know, I, I work out in the mornings. It's like I just wanted to really train myself to look for the blessings and find the good and my experience is when we do look for the blessings, when we focus on what we have and not what we don't have, when we turn our hearts to gratitude and, um, and, and giving thanks for our blessings, uh, miraculously, it feels like more and more things uh, come in to bless our lives. So I wrote this book really as a, as a reminder for the reader that there are blessings all around us. And sometimes, you know, if you pray for an answer and the answer comes, it may not look like you thought it would, but don't discard all the little things that have come in. And, um, that's powerful. You know, I'm just, yeah, it's just yeah. been, so that's, that's what the season was for me, Billy, you know, I mean, we wish it had never happened, but I found just so much value in it. I think maybe because I've been so busy and running a million miles an hour. And so it was like, you know, it was like this giant stop sign that says you've got to, you know, you can't go to work. Work is closed. You can't go to the gym. The gym is closed. You can't, you know, see your friends. You're not allowed to. And so I would get up in the early mornings um, and, um, you know, and after my own meditation and prayer, I would, you know, just sit down to my computer and write. And, mm. um, and unexpected blessings was the result of that time for me. Well, and when I, so I have my copy right here. And as I was going through, the thing that really struck me was gratitude. And one thing I love about you, and I've always loved about you, is I get up really early. I know you get up early too. And I love seeing the things you post. So if you're not following Roma, go on social and follow her because you have beautiful <laughs> pictures. You know, your whole feed on social Thank media you is about gratitude. It's about being grateful and seeing the beauty in the world around us at a time where there's a lot of turmoil, right? You always are focused on that. And so I want to talk more about the book, but I do have to ask you, how do you stay? You are consistently one of the calmest, kindest, most loving people, and you're consistent. It never changes. How do you, how do you keep that going? Well, I am I am Irish, Billy. So I have I ha do have my mo I do have my moments. We all but have our moments. The most we part, all have our moments. Yeah, I, but I am. I, I you know I I really you know my one of my favorite scripture psalms just to be still and know you know and it's in the stillness that we I feel most connected to the peace of God. Um, I know there's a quote that, that says that between stimulus and response, there's a space. And, um, you know, so in those moments where we might get triggered, you know, it's just to allow yourself, you know, really just to, if, you take, if you count, you know, to three even, 
It's just it can allow that that trigger that might fire you to just is there another way to approach an issue and um, you know just to keep calm in the storm. They often say that in a crisis that um, that panic you know will kill you faster than anything. You know I remember that when. My husband insisted when we were first dating that I take scuba diving lessons. And I honestly, to be honest, I don't really even like being in the water, never mind being under the water. And uh, but I remember the teacher, you know, saying, you know, if anything, because if anything goes wrong down there, you know, and you panic, uh, you're in, in big trouble. So it's really just to kind of slow down methodically assess what's going on and keep yourself safe. And I think the same can be applied, you know, in our day to day. It's, um, you know, and there's, you know, I, I just find that the, you know, friends that are, that have too much drama, you know, friends that are, that get into the, you know, that it's can be upsetting for everybody. And um, so, you know, I do my best, but not, not, not perfect. Um, no one is. No one is. But you are. I mean, you have been a consistent voice, especially in your industry in Hollywood of positivity, pointing people toward the gospel, highlighting. I mean, this entire book is 90 inspirational moments. It's a devotional that can guide people through it. And, and again, it's a time I think right now coming out of covid, what's going on all around the world, people are so stressed out and they're feeling that pressure. And this is what people need right now to kind of find that peace. And you have found a way. And again, no one's perfect. Right. As we as we've joked here, but you found a way to be consistently peaceful in that way. And what always strikes me about you and about Mark Burnett, your husband, is that you guys could be doing anything in the world that you want to do in entertainment. And you always come back to doing these positive, uplifting, powerful storytelling. You know, we look at the history of what you've done. You know, what is it that keeps you in that arena? Because again, you could you could do anything. Yeah, well, I just really feel, um, you know, uh, loving God and um, and having a faith walk with Jesus, you know, changed my life. And, um, uh, you know, my my life's work really is dedicated to, you know, shining the light on him. You know, I mean, my, I named my company Lightworkers. We are the workers, but he is the light. And, um, you know, so that's been my profound privilege to be able to point people in that direction, you know, and um, uh, for me, you know, I have a daily discipline of, of working out. Honestly, it just gets harder the older I get. I have to eat less and move more just to even maintain, you know, but they, but also the need to, the discipline required to spend time for me, the mornings work best, but to spend time with God, you know, so to, and to, to read my Bible or to read my devotional or, you know, hopefully maybe for 90 days, um, somebody listening to this today will decide to pick up unexpected blessings and to journey with me for 90 days, just taking a moment in prayer. Each entry starts with a quote that has been meaningful to me in some way. And then the entry is, is, is reflecting on how that quote maybe was meaningful through a personal anecdote from my own life that had some sort of positive outcome or an ability to, to find the positive outcome in something because you know, if we look for the problems, trust me, we're always going to find the problems. But if always. we look, if we look for the blessings, you know, I promise you, you'll find the blessings too. You know, we can say, "I don't have this. I don't have this. I don't have that," and that's our. I'm not as good as that person, or I don't look like this person, or I don't have as much as this person. And comparison is truly the thief of joy. But the minute you turn your heart to gratitude. And the minute you just say, thank you, thank you, Lord, thank you, God, for the blessings, and you start seeing, you know, what you do have, and you start appreciating what you do have, and it takes the focus not from what you don't have, but into what you do have, and there's a joy that comes from that, and a peace that comes from that. And so I tried in this book to write a sort of practical um, uh, tools to help you get there, you know, and then each yeah. entry ends uh, with a prayer, 
and just to take a, f a few moments just to give thanks or just to, to call in um, help and looking for the blessings or to call in gratitude and for all the blessings shared. So um, I had a lovely time uh, writing the book. Billy, you know, you've authored, authored a number of books yourself. This one um, was, a, was a, a, a lovely, it kind of had a, a lovely flow to it in writing. I, I always prayed before I would write, um, almost to, just to call in the Holy Spirit to, you know, to help me be in that flow, uh, you know, to, to write through me, that it might be, you know, that I might have shared an anecdote that might touch somebody's heart, that might help somebody open to healing, might help somebody open up to accepting something in, in their lives, you know. And, um, you know, I just really worked my way prayerfully through it. And then the publisher has done such a beautiful job. Um, you know, you may remember from my previous book, Box of Butterflies, that the butterfly was a very significant um, metaphor, symbol in my life, uh, symbolizing the possibility for change, um, that through the struggle the, uh, out of the cocoon, this butterfly emerges, and it's the struggle that strengthens the wings to fly. And that's just a great reminder for us too, you know, as we struggle, that, um, you know, that, that, that there's blessing, you know, what about the possibility that there's a blessing in the struggle? And, That's so powerful. And that the, That's so powerful. That the struggle is actually going to give you the strength to handle, you know, whatever is, whatever is coming next and just to stay open to that and grateful for that. Um, there's a Mary Oliver poem that I also quote in here. I lo love her poetry. She, there's, it's such, it's so spiritual and you kind of show up in nature. And I also find the presence of God, you know, when I'm by the beach or on a mountain or I can see the sky or, you know, the beauty of creation. And she says in the poem that someone once gave her a box of darkness and that it has taken her till now to realize that this too was a gift. And I just love wow. that, you know, that what about that, you know, is there a way to kind of re, you know, reframe some of the bigger issues in our lives and look for the blessings. And in my experience, there are always blessings. Yeah, the suffering, the lessons that we can learn in suffering, we often, I think because of the culture we live in, we have so much, you know, that it's often nobody wants to suffer, nobody looks to suffer. But in the midst of suffering, I know in my life, I've learned the most lessons. I've learned the biggest lessons. And I'm often, you know, grateful for having come out of the other side of it. So everything you just said is yes. incredibly. Well, I know, like, what, you know, I, I loved Mr. Rogers. And, uh, and he has a very powerful quote where uh, when he was a little boy and, you know, they had the television on and something bad had happened. You know, there was a, a, a you know, there was fire trucks and ambulances. And as a child, you know, that can be scary to see. I mean, as an adult, these things can be scary to see as we're looking at the at the horror of this footage coming out of the Ukraine and um, mm. and the helplessness we feel. But he said his mother would help reframe it for the children in the family where she where she told them to look for the helpers she says mm. there were always helpers and again that's just a reframe to find the blessing of course we wish these things weren't happening of course we wish that you know that uh, there wasn't uh, a pain and suffering and heartache and war and starvation and you know all all the the, the things that that are um, painful to witness in our world but but I think when we remember that there are good people out there doing good things all the time, and when we put our focus there and we you know, have gratitude for that, you know, I, I always maintain we need to make more noise for the good guys. And, Absolutely. Um, and, I think, you and that's know, what you've helps. done. Yeah, that's been yeah. your career, though. And that's what I love about, you know, what you do. It's, you know, from Touched by an Angel down the line, everything you have done has made more noise, you know, for for the good guys. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, I think it's important, you know, because it, I think it just brings people's attention back to, you know, out of fear, out of, you know, it's like, you know, that and 
And also I wanted this book just to be a reminder, just to take time in prayer. Prayer is so powerful, you know, and I've just seen in my own life, Billy, the po- the power of prayer and how prayer has worked and how, you know, if it didn't always bring the miracle that I prayed for, the miracle was that it brought, you know, maybe peace and comfort um, to my own heart. Maybe it helped take away some of that worry. And, um, you know, it's just, it's a very powerful tool that's available to each and every one of us. And I have friends that say, but I don't, Roma, I don't know how to pray or, you know, what does that look like, you know? And even just to sit quietly for a moment, even if you didn't use words, you know, and you just focused on, you know, on all the blessings that you have, it can just open your heart. You know, my subtitle is to nourish the soul and open the heart. And in my experience from my television work or the films that I've produced, Um, there's always a heart opening moment or scene because I feel that, you know, that we spend a lot of our time shut down and our hearts get hardened because we're protecting ourselves or we're, we've been hurt or whatever the myriad of reasons that people just, you know, hide from the world. And the minute we start to open our hearts again, in my experience, it gives an opportunity for the Holy Spirit to move in. And I know when the Holy Spirit moves in, then anything is possible, you know. And so prayer has been, you know, an important part of my life. I haven't made any decision, big or small, uh, that I haven't prayed about first. And um, so, you know, as I say a few years ago, when this project, you know, it just came in, the whisper in my heart to, to write this. And then the process of writing it. And it's just so exciting, you know, to finally, you know, when you work hard in something, you know, I feel happy with the, with the work and how it turned out. And now I have the opportunity tomorrow it releases and um, will be available, you know, as we, as we approach Easter in the season of hope to, to start this devotional with me. Um, I've written, the, the book is beautiful. They've done a beautiful t- a job with the design so I think that it it uh, also will make a perfect gift Easter gift or Mother's Day gift and then Billy I also had the opportunity to record it myself um, because I know a lot of people oh, that's fun that's really fun that's a really amazing process and so I've you know if you get up in the morning and you know you want to sit in meditation you've just you know you want to d- read some scripture and you want to pray along with me um, I, I had the opportunity to to record the audio version of Unexpected Blessings as well. Well, Roma, I am so excited for you on this book. This is incredible. It's what we need right now. This is the kind of content we need. The book is Unexpected Blessings. There's my copy right there. And go out and grab a copy of it. And Roma, thank you for taking the time, as always, to chat with me today. 